Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptic Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make Stripe Payment Gateway integration in Laravel. I'll start it from the very scratch so that you can understand it really easily. So I'll just create a fresh Laravel project. Then we require to write this command. Then we have to give the Stripe key and Stripe secret in the .env file. After that, we need to make some little changes in the config slash services.php then we'll make a route controller and a view so this is actually really simple and i'll try to explain it to you step by step so for it first of all let's go and create a laravel project so let me just go to my local disk f and here i'll just go to laravel tutorial so here i'm going to say cmd it will open a common prompt and let's say here laravel new uh let's say our project name will be stripe payment let's press enter it will get a laravel project uh i'll just fast forward this part so here you can see the project is created and here you can see the folder over here stripe payment so right now let's go to this project directory and let's run our project so for it we'll say cd stripe payment let's press enter so you can see currently we are in the stripe payment directory so let's just show our here php or tson serve uh, let me just copy this one ctrl c then i'll paste it here in the browser so here you can see this is our laravel project that we just created so we just uh, created our project now the second step is we need to write this command in the command prompt so let me just copy it ctrl c and let me just open another cmd for this stripe payment so let's go inside and here i'm going to say cmd then here i'm going to paste this command so let me copy it ctrl c composer record stripe slash stripe hyphen php so i'll give uh, this command in the first comment so that you can just copy it out so we need to paste the command over here and we need to press enter and it will take some time so i'll just fast forward the video again so here you can see the command is done it took like a few seconds so right now uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to our project and we need to change in the dot env file uh, which is our third step so i already opened the project using sublime text over here you can see uh, stripe payment over here so right now we'll go to our dot env file which is this one then we'll go at the down and here we are going to say stripe underscore key equal to uh, we over here we record to give the stripe key and then here we are going to say stripe underscore secret and here we are going to give the stripe secret so how we are going to get the stripe key and stripe secret so for it we need to go to our browser then here uh, just search for stripe and here you can see uh, stripe online payment processing for internet business just go on this link then you will see the sign in option over here uh, if you are not sign up you have to sign uh, sign up over here in the stripe so i already have an account so i'll just sign in then you'll see the email and password when you try to log in i'll just click continue so you can see this is my stripe dashboard so over here once you log in you need to go to over here in the developer option here you can see developers just click on this developer option and after that you have you will see over here on the left side api keys just click on the api keys then you will see publishable key and secret key now you will notice one more thing at the top you can see test data now all this key and secret key is actually a test uh, you can use this publish key and secret key for testing purpose and like if you want to like do real payment then you cannot use those pub, uh, publishable key and secret key over here if you go on the right side you will see test mode so i created this account uh, so that i can show you how you can make stripe payment so you can see test mode uh, you just have to uh, over here activate your account if you just click it you have to fill some information 
over here you can see uh, after filling those information you'll be able to get actual payment from here so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can uh, get payment in stripe uh, using this uh, like test data so let me just over here you can see publishable key now this publishable publishable key is actually uh, this on stripe key so let if you just click on it it will automatically get copied here you can see copied so we'll just paste it over here and you can see uh, stripe secret and stripe secret is this one so here i'll just click reveal test key then i'll just copy this one and i'm going to paste it over here so once we give the stripe key and uh, stripe secret will be done with the env file dot env file you can close it if you want so after the dot env file our fourth step is make some changes in the config slash services.php now what do we need to change uh, we just need to over here you can see two line of code uh, we just need to copy this code and we need to paste it in the uh, services.php so first of all we'll go to our config folder we'll go to config over here you can see config folder and inside this config folder we have services.php and we'll go down and here after this says we're going to paste that two line of code which is this one so i'll also give this uh, two line of code in the first comment so that you can just copy it out so let me just save it and over here you can see env uh, stripe secret it will get the stripe secret from the dot env file okay so once you just write this you can just close it over here so our fourth step is done and we have only three more step that is uh, we need to make route controller and view so first of all let's go to our command prompt and create the controller first then we'll create the route then we'll create the view so let me just go to my command prompt over here and here i'm going to say php artisan make uh, this clone controller we'll say stripe controller we'll press enter so here you can see controller created successfully so if we just go to our code and here we'll go to app http controller here you can see stripe controller so now let's go and create a route in the uh, in the web.php so here you can see route and here you can see web.php okay let me just uh, add the controller name at the top first so here we are going to say use app backslash http backslash controllers backslash stripe controller so we added the controller at the top now we can use this controller in the web.php so here we are going to say route double clone get and inside it let's say here stripe you can give any url name over here you want let's just go with stripe then we'll give comma we'll give two third bracket and inside it we are going to say stripe controller we'll give double clone then we'll say class we'll give a comma we'll give two single quotation and we're going to send uh, mention the function name that we are going to write in the stripe controller let's say it name will be stripe as well so let's just go with this simple one so right now let's go to our stripe controller and create the stripe function so we'll go to app http controller stripe controller so here we're going to say uh, public function stripe and he from here we'll just return a view it's just simple on return view uh, let's say we'll create a file called stripe let's say uh, okay this is actually simple okay since uh, uh, one more thing that is since we are using stripe so we need to add stripe at the top and we also need to add the session as well so we'll say here use uh, session then we'll say here use stripe so now uh, we said that we'll return a view to stripe uh, stripe.blade.php but we do not create the uh, stripe stripe view uh, in the resources so let me just go to the resource then views and here we are going to create a file called stripe dot 
uh, stripe.blade.php so let me just right click over here then click new file then here i'm going to say stripe.blade.php so control s and then save so here what we are going to do is that uh, we'll just create a view so that customer or the user can give their uh, like card name the card can be anything visa card master card any card okay the card name card number the card cbc and the card expired date so we are going to create a view but uh, i am not going to like uh, write the whole code for the view because i already have the code uh, in my notepad so i'll just copy it and paste it out and i'll just explain every line of code over here don't worry and i'll also give the code in the first comment so that you can just check it out so let me just go to my notepad over here you can see view and this is the code for the view and here okay let me just copy it from here i'll just copy every code uh, every single line for the view from here so control c and i'm going to paste it over here so here i'm going to explain the view so uh, this is the stripe.blade.php and here you can see this is just some normal css and here you can see the bootstrap cdn link and this is the jquery script so if you just go down here you can see payment details just a text and over here you can see session has success so here we'll show the uh, success message and if you go down here you can see uh, we write a form and in this form we have data stripe publishable key uh, stripe key uh, we are taking this from the env and don't worry i'll give all this code in the first comment so that you can just copy it out and here you can see in this form we actually have a name on card you can see input field uh, for name on card then we have the card number field over here then after a card number we have the cbc for the card and and here you can see expiration month and expiration year for the card so if i just run this uh, view in the browser you will just understand it clearly so let me just save it and uh, here you can see we are calling the stripe function and here you can see the url will be stripe so let me just copy it and let's go to browser and let's just say over here slash stripe and if you press enter uh, here you can see stripe payment page and here you can see uh, name on card card number uh, cbc card this is actually card expression month and year and here you can see pay now hundred dollar button and uh, okay let me just go to the stripe dot blade dot php and here you can see the button pay now hundred dollar and if we just go a little down here you can see uh, here you can see uh, script type equal to uh, text slash javascript you can see source equal to js stripe.com uh, you obviously need to mention this mention this stripe script in your blade view and here you can see some more javascript uh, and all those javascript script is actually required you can see stripe responsive uh, response handler and everything don't worry uh, this uh, here you can see the number card number cbc uh, experiment uh, expiry year and everything so don't worry uh, i'll just give this code in the first comment so that you can just copy it out and you can just check it by yourself so here we'll just go a little at the top and here you can see form and in this form here you can see method equal to post and here you can see action so in this action we are going to mention a route so let me just give two second bracket second bracket and then we'll say route we'll give to first bracket to single quotation and here let's say it will be route name will be stripe dot post now let's save it now we are going to create this stripe dot post route so let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this this route control c and control v so here the method will be post over here so let's say here post because uh, in the view here you can see method equal to post and let's say the function name will be stripe post and since this is a route so we need to mention the route name let's say here name 
and name os uh, here you can see the name os uh, stripe dot post let me just copy it and paste it here so right now we'll go to our stripe controller and create this stripe post function so let's go to our stripe controller and here we are going to say public function stripe post then here we are going to say request dollar request and in this type post we are going to uh, copy and paste some code and we have it in the uh, notepad over here you can see public function type post uh, request dollar request so we are just going to copy this code and i will also explain this code so let's copy it control c and let's paste it here control v so here you can see first of all uh, over here you can see set api key we are mentioning the uh, type secret from the ENB over here then we are giving the default amount over here 100 into 100 uh, for ESD actually so uh, we are giving the default amount let's say uh, someone is buying any product obviously the product value won't be like uh, hundred dollar all the time so for that case you can just say over here dollar request uh, if you are like have different price for different product you just uh, give like dollar request uh, this arrow sign and the price that you are just getting from different page so we'll just uh, keep the static value over here and here you can see currency you can use different currency like us uh, this is usd you can use uh, like euro rupee or anything and you can see source equal to request a stripe token you can see the description and if everything is successful uh, it will show us a message that payment is successful so since we write this function we should be able to make our test transaction actually because we use the uh, test api key if you want to like uh, use the like actual api key then you need to activate your account here you can see test mode is on you need to activate your account and get the real publishable id and secret key so here let me just refresh here and uh, okay let's say here stripe okay test test card let's search for uh, stripe test card and if you go down over here you can see this is the stripe test card you can see we can use visa card debit mastercard and some other card as well here you can see so here you can see let me just uh, number you can see number 424242 let me just copy this one if you just click on this it will be copied and i'll paste it over here you can see card number so uh, you don't have to give the uh, name on card it's not important but the card number is important and for testing purpose you can give uh, any cbc and any future date so here uh, let's give the cbc on to three and let's say month zero nine and let's say year 20 20 30. now we'll just click pay now and here you can see we are it's showing a message that payment successful so this is how you can make a uh, stripe payment in laravel i try to make it as simple as possible and one more thing that is i'll give every code and some description in the first comment so that you can just copy it out and test it by yourself and if you want to appreciate me then please subscribe to my channel and comment below something nice so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy